I want to balance the following redox reaction in acidic solution. And that's the key with this one. It's in an acidic solution. So that means I'm going to have to have H plus that I'm going to use throughout. There's two methods in which you can solve these. The first one that I want to show you is using the half cell reaction. So I need to figure out what's oxidized and what is reduced. So I know that the H tags up with the H and the CR and the CR. So over here the charge on H is plus one. And over here on the right, it's what? It's zero. Here it's zero and it's three plus. So now remember, reduction is when you reduce the number of electrons. So the H is the reduction and the chromium is the oxidation. So how do you write the half cells? Well, for the uh, reduction, I'm saying that it's going from just looking at the equation. I'm not doing anything funky yet. I've got H plus aqueous goes to H2 gaseous. And for the oxidation, I've got that Cr solid goes to Cr3 plus Aq. So what am I going to do with these? Well, remember when you saw these, you have to add electrons to the more positive side to balance them. Well, I notice on this first one, I would have to add one electron. And on this one, I need to add three electrons, right? Because this is a plus three. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to first start with the chromium one. And I know I need to add three electrons. So that gives the overall charge on the right zero and it's already zero on the left. Now, what about hydrogen? Well, if I need to get rid of these three electrons, how could I do that up here? Well, let's say we multiply by three. So I've got three H plus aqueous plus three electrons yields three H two gas. Okay, so that will cancel out my electrons, correct? So let's add those two equations together and see what we get. So we're going to get CR solid plus 3H plus AQ. Remember we said that this term and this term are going to cancel each other out because one's on the left and one's on the right. So that's just going to yield to CR3 plus AQ plus 3H2 gas. So the charge is balanced, but now I all of a sudden notice I've got a problem, right? On the left-hand side, I have three hydrogens, but over here on the right-hand side, I've got six. So now I've got to balance those hydrogens. So how am I going to do that? Well, this side is more, so I'm going to have to do it over here. So I need to multiply through by what? I need a two here. So let's do that first. So I've got CR solid plus 6H plus aqueous yields CR3 plus AQ plus 3H2 gas. Okay, so my hydrogens are balanced, but what did that do to my overall charge? Well, on the left side I've got a 6 plus, and on the right side I've got a 3 plus. So how am I going to get that to balance again? Well, again, 6 is the larger one, so 3 times what is 6? 3 times 2. So I need to multiply this term by 2. So that would give me CR solid plus 6H plus AQ yields 2CR3 plus AQ plus, this hasn't changed, the 3H2 gas. Now remember, when you multiply on one side, now there's two chromiums, I know I have to do what to the other side? I have to put a 2 in front of the chromium. So what do I know about that? Well, this is my final balanced acidic solution reaction.